Now we're going to get some experience applying Newton's second law of rotations to an actual situation and try to calculate what will be the angular acceleration that results from us applying a force. Let's imagine that we have a giant hoop that weighs about 300 kilograms and has a radius of about one meter. This is about the size of a merry-go-round, in other words. We're going to apply a force off to the side, at the, out at the rim of this thing, and the magnitude of that force will be 30 newtons. So that's actually not all that much. That's a little bit more than the weight of a gallon of milk. Now the question will be, what will be the angular acceleration that results from this? Well, we know that we can find out what the torque will be, because the torque, the magnitude of torque will always be equal to r times f times sine of theta, where theta is the angle between those r and f vectors. In this case, theta is 90 degrees, and so we get that torque equals 30 newtons times 1 meter, or 30 newton meters in the MKF system. Now we could use the relationship, the second law of torque equals I, F, I alpha to calculate the acceleration, but first we need to know the moment of inertia. Well, we can do that because this is a standard shape. For the hoop, the moment of inertia is just mR squared, and so we can calculate I is equal to 30, 300 kilograms times 1 meter squared, or 300 kilogram meter squared. Notice that's a compound unit. As a result, the angular acceleration is just going to be torque divided by I, or 30 newton meters divided by 300 kilogram meter squareds. The result is 0.1 rads per second squared.